let's read the question a biomolecule contains 0.2 percent fe2 plus by mass the minimum molecular mass of the biomolecule is the options are 16,000 U, 18,000 U, 100 U and the last option is 28,000 U. Plus in this question first of all 0.2% of Fe2 plus ion is present in 100 grams of biomolecule. Also each biomolecule should contain at least one Fe2 plus ion. So we can start the question 0.2 gram of Fe2 plus is present in 100 gram of biomolecule that means 56 gram of iron which is one mole of iron is present in 100 divided by 0 0.2 multiplied by 56 which is equal to 28,000 gram of biomolecule so class the molecular mass of biomolecule will be 28,000 U. So the correct answer for this question is option number 4. Let's move to the next question class which is question number 57. Let's read the question class. If volume percent of nitrogen in air is 78% then the number of N2 molecules present in 10 liter of air at STP is the given options are 1.25 Na, 0.35 Na, 0.18 Na and the last option is 0.78 Na. Let's start the question class. Class we are given with volume percentage of nitrogen which is 78%. That means 100 liter of air contains 78 liters of N2. That means 10 liter since the volume of air is 10 liter 10 liter of air contains which is equal to 78 divide by 100 multiplied by 10 ultimately equals to 7.8 liters of N2 class now we have to calculate the number of moles of N2 present in 7.8 liter so moles of N2 will be equal to 7.8 divided by 22.4 at STP the volume of one mole of any gas is 22.4 liter which has a value of 0 0.35 plus now we have to calculate the number of molecules of N2 present in 0 0.35 moles so number of molecules is equal to number of moles multiplied by Avogadro's number. So 0 0.35 Na. Therefore the correct answer for this question is option number 2. Plus, let's move to the next question which is question number 58. Let's read the question class. Mass of oxygen required for the complete combustion of 3 kg of ethane is the given options are 11.2 kilogram, 6 kilogram, 15.5 kilogram and the last option is 7.2 kilogram. So class for this question first of all we have to write a balanced chemical equation of combustion of ethane. Class in this question I am writing a balanced chemical equation of combustion of ethane which is 2C2H6 reacts with 7O2 to give 4CO2 and 6H2O. So we can clearly say that 2 moles of ethane reacts with 7 moles of O2. That means 30 multiplied by 2 which is 60 gram of ethane reacts with 32 multiplied by 7 which is 224 grams of O2. Therefore 3000 gram of ethane reacts with 224 divided by 60 multiplied by 3000 gram of oxygen that will be equal to 1200 grams of oxygen 
let's convert this value into kilograms it will be 11.2 kilogram of oxygen so let's conclude the reaction class the mass of oxygen required for the complete combustion of 3 kg of ethane will be 11.2 kg. Therefore, the correct answer is option number 1. Plus, let's move to the next question, which is question number 59. Let's read the question class. Number of unpaired electrons present in chromium atom is? The given options are 3, 4, 6 and 5. Plus, in this question, the atomic number of chromium is also given. Let's write the electronic configuration of chromium. The atomic number is 24, which is already given. Is argon 3D5 4S1. Let's see the number of unpaired electrons present in chromium. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 unpaired electrons present in 3D and 1 unpaired electron is present in 4s therefore the total number of unpaired electrons present in chromium is 6 so the correct answer for this question is option number 3 thus let's move to the next question which is question number 60 the total energy of electron in the nth orbit of helium ion is the given options are minus 13.6 upon n square electron volt the next is minus 27.2 upon n square electron volt. The next is plus 13.6 upon n square electron volt. And the last is minus 54.4 upon n square electron volt. So class, first of all, for this question, we need to know the formula to calculate the energy of electron in the nth shell. So I'm writing it. Energy is equal to minus 13.6 multiplied by z square upon n square electron volt where z represents the atomic number of the ion or atom and n represents the n represents the number of orbit so class for helium ion the value of z will be 2 so energy will become minus 13.6 multiplied by 2 square upon n square electron volt which ultimately be equals to minus 54.4 upon n square electron volt so the correct answer is option number four plus let's move to the next question which is question number 61 